Hello everybody, let me show you today how you can install and set up Yuzu, the Nintendo Switch emulator, in your PC. You want to open your web browser and go into the video description where you're going to see the link to the Yuzu website. From here, you want to go where you see the download button right here, click on it. And now, Yuzu requires that the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ is going to be installed in your PC. For that, you want to click into this link. This is going to get downloaded and to download Yuzu itself, you want to click right here where you see the download for Windows X64 or the system that you have, you want to click into manual download. Click on it. Now, for this to work, you're going to need to have an older model or Nintendo Switch so you can dump all the files and games from there into your PC. To learn more about that, you can go into the quick start guide of the Yuzu website itself. But something really important that you're also going to need is the prod keys and title keys. Now, if you are asking yourself what are the prod keys or the title keys, simply search in Google and you're going to know what they are. So you can dump it yourself from your Nintendo Switch. Now, you can close already your web browser, open your downloads folder, and from here, the first thing that you want to install is the Microsoft Visual Plus Plus. So you want to click into VC Redlist x64.exe. Double click into it and you want to install it if you don't have it already. When that is done, you can close that and you want to click into the Yuzu installer. Now, if you are part of the Patreon, you can download the Yuzu early access. But if you don't have it, you can click right here into install Yuzu. Click into install. This is going to download the rest of the software itself and to install it in your system. Wait a couple of seconds until this is done. Now that installation is done, you want to exit the installation software. This is going to start and normally you're going to see a prompt right here that the prod keys are missing. I'm going to show you how to install them. To install it, you want to type into the search bar and you want to type run. Open the run application right here. Inside of here, you want to type percentage app data percentage and then you want to click into OK. This folder is going to get open. You want to scroll down till you see the YouTube folder right here. Now you want to go into the folder where you see keys. And from there, you want to copy the original prod keys and title keys. Once you have done that, you can close this folder and open once more Yuzu. Now that Yuzu is open, you're going to see this right here to add your games. But before we do that, we're going to be making some configuration into the settings. On the top left corner, you want to click into emulation and then into configure. From here, this part, normally the general is fine. If you want to check all the options right here, you can do it yourself. But I recommend you to leave it as it is. System, you can change the language right here, the region of your games. And you can also change the sound output mode and things like this. Into CPU, I recommend you guys that you let the accuracy into auto. Normally this works perfectly fine. And into graphics, you're going to have two options, OpenGL or Volcan. Uh, test it out with OpenGL is what I recommend the most. But if you're having any problems, you can change it for Volcan. Everything else, you can leave it as it is. Into audio, the same. And now into controls. Now, you can change here, right here, what controls do you have? How many controls do you want to connect? You can even play it with a mouse and keyboard. But of course, for Nintendo games, a lot better with a controller. I'm going to be using this right here. This is the 8BDO Ultimate Wired Controller for Xbox. And you want to check that everything is working if this recognizes it automatically. That every button works perfectly fine. That you see all the inputs on it and everything is working. If not, you want to change right here the input device for the one that you have and try to configure it every button of your controller. When you have done everything else, you want to click into OK. And now it's time to add our games. You're going to need to have a folder where you have dumped your original Nintendo Switch games into your PC and double click to add a new folder to the game list. Now search where you have your folder with your games. Everybody's going to be different from missing the desktop and click into select folder. Now you can see right here the compatibility is not tested, but it's going to show you if it is compatible or not. And now you can click into the game, right click into it and start game or start without configuration if you have any problems. Click into start game. And as you can see, guys, now you're going to be able to play your original Nintendo Switch games in your PC. 
Maybe you want to make this because you want to use a better controller than what Nintendo have to offer, or simply because maybe you want to live stream. So it's a good option to know, even though that Nintendo doesn't really appreciate this right here. That is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, you'll leave it in the comments down below. And if you find the video useful, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. It is more than welcome. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.